Uh, thank you very much for uh, taking the time to uh, join us here. Trade, foreign direct investment and portfolio flows of capital are all driving the engine room of Africa, with the provision of financial services one of the key ingredients for economic growth. That's according to David Munro, the head of corporate and investment banking at Standard Bank, Africa's biggest lender. Munro was presenting a strategic and operational update on the bank's corporate and investment arm in Johannesburg today. Today we seek to bank the paradigm of uh, the development of Africa by linking not only operating in the countries in which we are present, but also linking those countries together and linking those countries uh, to the outside world. He told journalists that Standard Bank wanted to be the sector leader on the continent, specializing in natural resources. So the map has changed fundamentally, but also the players have changed. Not only do we have the international oil companies, we've got lots of large independent production and exploration and production companies. And in many of these countries, the governments have taken it upon themselves to find ways to make sure that the value created in this industry and in this sector can be captured also by local indigenous oil and gas uh, ENP players through the services industries that need to be built in these countries and through the, ca through of, through the flow of capital into uh, these countries and the flow of um, uh, uh, foreign exchange uh, through their coffers. GDP figures are on the rise in many African countries, with those in Europe on the decline. Countries like Kenya, Nigeria, Mozambique and Ghana I experienced sustained economic growth, fueled by an emerging middle class and continued investment in their minerals and energy sectors. The Standard Bank passion for Africa comes at a time when more multinationals are looking toward the continent for economic opportunity. Standard Bank plans to position itself at the forefront of financial services provision on the continent. With a presence in 18 African markets, the 151-year-old financial institution is bullish about Africa's prospects. For us, geographic footprint helps drive relevance with our clients, helps us conduct a strategic conversation with the client to help them grow their business. And particularly, in South Africa's case, the expansion of South African multinationals into Southern Africa has been critical. So our relevance to our client base increases because of our geographic footprint. With over 1.5 trillion rand in assets under management on the continent, and a presence in 26 countries worldwide across 13 time zones, Standard Bank hopes to use its competitive home advantage to attract investment. The real growth in these numbers is coming from our operations across the African continent, importantly including South Africa. But Standard Bank says it's not just chasing the numbers. As a South African bank, it remains passionate about the African story.